Hello and welcome to Simple French Cooking. My name is Francois. Today I want to teach you a childhood favorite of mine. It's chocolate profiteroles. I just drooled. It's chocolate profiteroles filled with vanilla ice cream drenched in a chocolate sauce. I mean, who doesn't love that? So join me today as I teach you how to make classic profiteroles. So please, if you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications. Also, if you hang out to the end of this video, I got a special treat for you. All right, let's get started. The first task we have to do is make the parachu. So put the water, the milk, and your butter into a pot. Now I like to use stainless steel. Sometimes if you use aluminum pots, um, it can discolor your pot of choux. And you also want to put a nice pinch of salt in there. It just really brings out the flavors. So bring it to a rapid boil. And then you're going to add your flour all at once. And over medium heat, you're going to stir it with a wooden spoon. Now you want to stir for about a minute because this is going to cook the excess moisture out of the mixture. If you have too much moisture, your puffs won't rise, they'll collapse. Remove it from the heat and let it cool for five minutes. Okay, so now your pot of choux has cooled off just a little bit. We're going to add it to a food processor. Now if you watch the video at the end, I'll show you a way to so you can do this by hand if you don't have a food processor. Or you could do this in a KitchenAid stand mixer if you have one of those. Alright, just put all your batter into here. And then we're going to turn on the motor and we're going to add eggs one by one till they're fully incorporated into the dough. And that's it. That's all you have to do to make a pot of choux. Now see how quick that incorporated in? All right, so I'm gonna add the other three and then we'll get to piping these guys out. So every time you add an egg, you just wanna let it incorporate in for a few seconds. If you're doing this by hand, you need to beat it till it completely absorbs each egg. Ah, look how beautiful the batter looks. Now today I'm using a star tip, but normally I would use a plain tip. I just decided to have a little fun and see how it would come out. And so you use a pastry bag and you know there's a trick. If you don't have a pastry bag, you can take a large Ziploc, cut a corner out and fill it with the, the pot of choux and then just pipe it that way. Just use it just like a pastry bag. Now be sure to pipe all of your pot of choux on a sheet pan with a silicone sheet or buttered parchment. You don't want these puffs to stick. I'm just going to want to dab on a little bit of egg wash to make them nice and golden brown. Look at these beautiful puffs. So they bake for 40 minutes. And now the best part, time to make the chocolate sauce. So put the water, the cream, the chocolate chips, and the sugar into a pot. It's really as simple as that. And this is so much better than like the pre-made chocolate sauces you can buy at most grocery stores. And all you're gonna do is bring this sauce to a boil, stir it, and look how beautiful this sauce is. I like to use it hot over the chocolate profiteroles.
You know, if you don't use your profiteroles right away, you can freeze them. At any rate, what I like to do is cut the profiteroles in half and we're going to put a nice scoop of ice cream in the center and you want to bring this out to the table and I would suggest bringing one plate for the entire table you know just this giant pyramid of profiteroles And then quite dramatically at the table, you're gonna take your warm chocolate sauce and just pour it over the profiteroles in front of all of your guest eyes. Trust me, this will be the hit course of your next dinner party. Wow, look at that. I mean, who doesn't love this? You have a delicious pastry filled with vanilla ice cream topped with a warm chocolate sauce. It doesn't get any better than that. So thanks so much for watching Simple French Cooking. Here's the little bonus I promised you. Now, um, sorry, I gotta go, I gotta eat this, but please subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.